So in our previous Cricketing 101 series, we talked about getting the right kit, then we talked about the right batting technique. Today we're talking about fielding, essentially two kinds of fielders in one-day cricket, excluding the wicket keeper, of course, sorry, Mark, Boucher. Uh, there were the inner ring fielders who were more sort of attacking and stationary fielders. Then you get the outer ring fielders who are always on the move and they're more defensive, but those are the guys with the great arms. We're going to practice a couple of drills that uh, deal with both. Now we're going to practice the low catching, stationary. Very important that the guys get the body nice and low, hands nice and low, knees slightly bent, weight coming forward, and when the ball comes to you, come up with the ball. It's very important you come up with the ball, and you don't stand like this and go down with the ball. So nice and low, hands touching the ground, fingers into the ground, and come up with the ball. Okay? Very important. You're like a dancer, eh? It's a good stretch, too. You're right. Okay, lads, heads up. For catches below the chest, your fingers should point down when in cup position. Relax, keep your hands soft, and remember guys, catches win matches. Yeah, who could forget John C. Rhodes, mid-air, taking out Inzamal Huck's wickets, huh? Not regular cricket though, a more percentage play would be the underarm flick. Uh, are we going to do a draw for that at some point? We're going to do that right now. Fantastic. Okay, so the underarm flick is basically attacking the ball in the inner ring, either going for a run-up, or cutting that run, which is very important when you play one day cricket, especially now at the World Cup. Yeah. So what we'll get going now, boys, I want you attacking the ball, I want you getting on the outside of the ball, the right foot next to the ball, to pick up, hands into the ground, and release with your body weight coming forward towards me. Okay? Nice, good stuff. Boys, what you can do now, I want to see the dive release. Okay, keep your weight going towards the target. Time is of the essence here. Try to collect the ball in front of you rather than at your side. And with a quick flick of the wrist, get rid of it. This can get your team a crucial run out. <laughs> Directed. How's that? Yeah. Well, it's time for a little bit of outfielding now. I think the guys have mastered this inner fielding stuff. What do you say, Ryan? Yep, let's get into it. Very important, we work on the outfielding. So now what we'll do, boys, we're going to practice some attacking the ball and releasing. Brilliant. Let's go. OK, so it's a classic cricket pose, is the long barrier field. How does that happen, right? OK, the long barrier is when you go in a sidearm position and you get your knee to your heel and you stop the ball in a sidearm position. So you can even get into this position, stand up, balance, throw. OK, boys, show me. what you got. OK, that's right, that's right. Tender, that's wrong. OK. Why is that? The reason why that's wrong is because he's the wrong way around. He's down for a left-handed throw. So he's a right-hander, so he's got to get up. Do it the other way around to tender. That's better. Down. Oh, that makes Show sense. So that, so there you, yeah, as opposed to this. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah that split second can make a huge difference. Approach it at speed, and as you get in line with the ball, twist your upper body, leading with the shoulder furthest from the ball. Yeah. There are two ways of fielding a high ball. That was the reverse cap. Ryan, what's the other way? The other one is the traditional normal cap. Yeah, which I imagine if you're going to throw the ball up in the air, it would probably be the safest way to actually catch the ball, you know, with wind speeds, with the velocity of the ball, the lighting rise. I mean, it's kind of frightening tracing a ball that high, you know. So uh, there it is, the reverse cup, and there it comes. How's that? That's great. OK. Very important. There's a draw for that, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, what we're going to do now, I'm going to push the, the boys out about 10, 15 metres. I'm just going to hit the ball up in the air, and I've got to practice either catching it the normal reverse cup, which is onto the body, or running into the ball, balancing their body, and getting the hands in line with the eyes and bringing it into the chest, which is very important. Try watching the seam of the ball all the way into your hands. This is a tricky catch, so practice and practice some more. There you go. Well, that's uh, some more insights and drills when it comes to dads and lads and Cricket 101, and particularly about the aspects of fielding in the game of... Oh, you're right, Josh. Wow, whoa. Thanks, Josh. Hey, there you go, white ball. You know what that means? It's almost time for World Cup Cricket. Yes, man! <laughs> <laughs>